So in this video tutorial we will learn about how to implement the while loop within the R programming language. So how we can do it out first of all we need to define a variable. Let's say A is our variable. After A we need to write an assignment operator. Then we can enter 0 inside this A. 0 is an integer okay 0 is just an integer and this assignment operator that is less than n dash sign will insert this 0 inside this variable a variable is just like a data container as we already know now after it you need to write while while obviously we know that while is a loop but while is also a function obviously we know that because function has always two parameter insertion brackets after it okay so these are so while so while will in these conditional brackets are we can say parameter insertion brackets we need to write while a is less than 10 okay this is condition okay so what while con uh, function or while loop will check that either a is less than 10 so first we know that a has 0 inside it okay so 0 is less than 10 yes obviously we know 0 is less than 10 so condition is true if this condition is true then our statements inside what is called as the brackets are bodies double brackets are bodies will be like a uh, they will run okay all the conditions will be executed which are inside so we will write here print print a okay so we will write print a and after this print a okay remove the semicolon okay it is not necessary after it we also also incremented the a because first a will a will become a is zero then after uh, the printing of zero a that is zero zero plus one will become one and again it will be given to a okay and one more thing that uh, instead of this is equal to we need to write this thing okay uh, less than and dash sign it is equivalent to the equality sign because it is the assignment operator now a will become zero because a is having zero inside it and zero is less than 10 so this condition is true condition inside the brackets is true then print of a print of a will gives us zero on the console why it is so because a is having zero in it then after a zero a zero gets print on the console then a zero plus one a is zero so zero plus one will become one and one is stored inside this a now a become one again it will move to the condition that is 1 is less than 10 and if 1 is less than 10 again it will move into the body of the loop okay that is print of a which is now 1 okay so in this way we, we, we get 1 okay and after it again there is an increment so a becomes 2 okay so 2 is less than 10 now okay and again 2 is printed and then this process continuously gone okay until a becomes 10 okay so 10 is not less than 10 so this condition becomes false and the control will come out of the body of the loop on the line number 7 so in this way we got all our values printed on the console now you can see that we got all the values okay so okay wait uh, it is a is less than 10 okay we need to write minus a not it is it must be a is uh, okay wait it must be one plus a okay you have to write one plus a so it will work properly then okay zero and one plus a okay so now 
condition is true print of a and now you got this uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay you can see all these from 0 okay so this is okay so this one so so we, we can also like uh, press control L to clear the console okay because we don't need you know, anything on console because it is going to affect our uh, output so we can even write uh, a plus 1 okay again positive and this and this okay now you can see the output okay the uh, uh, the text on uh, the text in black is our output so hopefully you got the concept regarding how to implement the while loop within the R programming language so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe